So all you have to do now is go into settings, general, scroll down, date and time, switch it to manual, click on the date. And again, mine was on the 17th. So I want to go a day after the day that I've installed it on the 18th. Again, you're going to have a different date. Of course, I'm just using this date as an example. If I go back now to the home screen, you'll see that I can launch the application. It's easy as that. Now I can tap go start the jailbreaking process if it doesn't fail and once the jailbreaking process is completed you can switch it back to auto so you can have the date as it is the day that you're using your device and it's very important that you have the date uh, to auto because other applications depend on that so the jailbreak failed to install or to run on my device the first time so i'm going to go ahead and try to run the application again and hopefully the jailbreak process uh, will continue and i think we got it this time around Yep, there it goes. So now once it respring's, I can go back and switch the data as I mentioned and back to auto. All right, so here we are back at the home screen with the jailbreak enabled and go back into settings, general and set the date back to auto and that's it. Now I can continue using my jailbreak and the certificate will expire, but I can use this trick and continue using it forever without having to go back to a computer. Very, very cool stuff. Now I also tested this on the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus with the 10.1.1 jailbreak match portal, and it seemed to work as well. So this is, again, I'm going to link you guys to the...